All right, folks, what's going on? Uh, we're going to look at this. This is a uh, three rep max, uh, or excuse me, five rep max on back squat. Um, it's at 300 pounds. It's a little bit uh, heavier than I've been in a while. been reforming the bottom of my back squat to uh, mimic a little bit more of my front squat positioning to transition over to clean. So uh, I've told a lot of you in the office to, uh, you know, start filming. And sometimes early on when you do that, things are pretty blatantly obvious. But here's some subtleties that might kind of help you as you're going through. So I have some of these marked. I'm going to take this back just a little bit to the start. This is the first rep. Going down, loading pattern's pretty good, trying to stay back with the hip, but upright with the torso. About right there, start buckling just a hair. And if we stop here, it's not bad, but I like to be a little bit more upright if I could. It is a high bar back squat, so you low bar back squatters, you know, if you wanna <laughs> stop listening, that's fine, I get it. Um, but for a uh, high bar and trying to get uh, transition some of this to the front squat, I'd like to be a little bit more upright there, and it'll really come out when I'm coming out of the bottom position you see kind of it's not bad to see the hips go back that's naturally going to happen but the shoulders don't match the hips as far as the you know being back and staying integrated through the spine and i run into problem you know here and body starts to kind of panic a little bit and say oh i got to get back upright about right there and you see kind of that that torso coming back to uh, about this position where I'm nice and integrated again. Um, also, I've done a, you know, kind of some some shear through the knee where I've been putting a lot of stress on there with not a whole lot of movement with it forward. So you know that's something I got to get better with and something I'm really focusing on. As I go through though, we'll kind of watch through these next reps, see how we go along under fatigue. Good job hitting same position. The belt, as you'll notice, has already popped off. So I'm I'm really kind of um, in, in the grind of mental focus here. Coming back again, same little shift, recorrect, then get up. Third rep. Pretty solid again, hitting that same position, starting to get a little bit weak through the midline. Got it back into good position. Fourth rep, if I remember, is kind of one of the, might be the a bad one, but we'll see. Around a little bit there, you see how I dip forward into the, uh, uh, onto the toes a little bit, the, uh, the, the markers there, knees are a little bit forward, so dipped forward, but really drove back to kind of save that rep. Wasn't too pleased, so I had to really refocus on this next one. Good, going down, hit bottom position, and then really focus on saying, hey, I gotta stay integrated. And actually, I think my fifth rep, if you look at driving out, getting to this position, is probably one of the best. I stall out a little bit there, gotta work on my strength with really just driving up and through, but pretty happy with that rep. Hopefully some of that uh, helps if you're using videos, is kind of what to look for, uh, and uh, keeps you safe and getting stronger. Good luck.